You can easily delete objects that are no longer needed in your building model. But there are some rules and restrictions that you need to be aware of. If you select a panel board, you can quickly delete that panel board by either clicking the Delete tool in the Modify panel of the Contextual ribbon, or by simply pressing the Delete key on the keyboard. Now start the Duct Accessory tool from the HVAC panel of the Systems ribbon. Then click on the vertical duct to place a duct accessory and click Modify to end the command. Next, select the duct accessory and delete it. Revit not only deletes the element, but also heals the opening in the duct. Whenever you delete a hosted object, such as a fitting or accessory, Revit automatically heals openings in the host object, and if the object was tagged, the tag disappears as well. Click Undo. If you delete a host object, such as a duct, Revit does not always delete any objects that were in turn hosted in that object. For example, select this duct and delete it. Once you do, the duct accessory still remains. So pay special attention to hosted elements when deleting the host. In order to delete pinned elements, you must understand a few things. First off, to delete a pinned element, you must first unpin it. To see this, select the Transformer, click Pin in the Modify panel of the Contextual ribbon, and then delete the Transformer. When you do, a warning appears. The warning simply states that pinned objects were not deleted, and that they must be unpinned before they can be deleted. However, you can click Expand Warning Dialog and then drill down in the warning to see the specific element that is pinned. You can then check the element, or multiple elements if you had selected more than one pinned element, and click Delete Checked to delete those elements without unpinning them first.